Take three on this video. This is the repeat grab corner set. This is the corner pen cleaning kit with the repeat ease, and this is some black Indian ink I bought. It's slightly different from the one that came in the box. This looks like to be an older set of the repeat grabs, but they've had the same technology for a while. From the pen cleaning kit, I only ended up using the repeat ease and the tool to take apart the the pen further. These, the ones that are not here, I have them soaking in here. All right, so I ended up buying this kit for thirty five dollars on Facebook Marketplace. Um, I paid a guy on PayPal. He sent it over the mail. I got them. I opened them up. I looked at them, and it had dried ink everywhere. Um, this little guy had it was bent just a little bit on the tip, but you know, just bent it back. It was fine. So, anyways, so it it looked like you know they were when they were in use that these had ink. Uh, the person who was using them with the ink still inside they you know stored them and just kind of like left them stored so the ink dried so ink was dried everywhere um i bought the the pen cleaning kit like six dollars and some change uh, i bought one learning how to use it ended up using a lot of the repeat of i bought another one so i ended up buying two so we're talking $35 plus like $12, $13. We're looking at 50, a little bit under $50. Uh, on Amazon, each individual pen costs like between $22 to $30, depending on the size. At art stores like Blick, which used to be Utrecht, each one costs 30, like $36, $36 to $40. So of course when I saw them for $35, the whole set I bought it, but of course you know I had to, I had to clean it. You have to spend the time in the cleaning. Uh, these are different sizes. This is a triple zero, which is like a 0.25, double zero, 0 0.30, a 0 0.35, a 1.50, a 2.60, a 3.80, a 4, 1.20. That's how the thickness, I don't know if it's in millimeters, I don't really know. Um, so, so I got the set in the mail and I had to clean it. So I had to familiarize myself with a video on how to clean it. The only other video I saw was the Coinor um, channel that had their how to use the repeatal the repeatal ease. But they only they didn't really show it. They just kind of like broke it down and show you how to use it. Then I saw another video which the guy breaks down the pens and then it got to a point where um, it looked like this it looked like this and he said oh you don't have to break down the pen any further but me being an overachiever <laughs> sometimes me being one of um, it just with my experience it's like you gotta clean everything so so if you could take these apart, then, you know, take it apart. And that's what I did. I took it apart. I've made, I think, like three or four mistakes just learning on here. Um, yeah, I'll cover the mistakes right now. So one mistake I did was... I used, I dipped like a paper towel in acetone and I was cleaning it because you know acetone takes off like paint. But then I noticed like it was looking crazy. So I don't know if you notice. The threads are eating up on here. It's got threads, it doesn't. So what happens is this guy won't screw in 
Fortunately enough, it was the, the triple zero, like the smallest one of this of this set that I don't I don't really use. Um, side note: After a while, I started watching different videos. Um, Rotring, there's like the repeater graphs are like a section, and there's another type of pen called Rotring, and then there's like another type of pen, um, the Staller or something, something. Um, but I kind of ran through a couple different videos of like the just familiarizing myself with the different technical pens that there is, and I noticed that the 0.35 and the 0.50s, especially the 0.35, gets used a lot, like a lot, a lot. So these two get used a lot. Um, I did, I did clean these and I used it, but I had a, this one, I don't know, it gave me like a funky feeling or whatever, so I re retook it apart and I cleaned the inside. All right, so one mistake was I used this acetone, it ate, ate up the threads. I can't use, it doesn't work anymore. Um, I need a brand new pen. Um, the other mistake I did was on one of these, I went to go do something uh, with the pliers and this guy right, this tip right here, ended up taking it off. And then you see the wire that was inside. So I carefully put it back on. I don't know if it was this specific model, um, this specific size, but it was one of these that happened. And, but they work, they work. I don't break it. That was the second mistake. Um, there's a third mistake I can't remember right now. So, Um, so I cleaned this and when this was still together, I like cleaned a little bit, but then I, I decided to take it apart. Later on, I ended up cleaning in here, in these areas, because this is the area where you like, it goes over the pen. So most of the time these have like ink in here. Also, these have ink. These be having ink inside in the threads. And not nah, these don't have ink. But it's very important that, all right, so since this is where the ink goes and it goes in here, and, and well, this is, let's pretend I screwed this in. Right? Let's pretend this is, this is the glue and I screwed it in. Right, the ink flows inside through here, so all this is covered in ink. So, of course, not only do I have to clean this part, and this one, this is the one that takes the longest, these are the ones that takes the longest out of all these parts, but they don't have to go back and clean inside, inside here. I ended up dipping it. Uh, going inside and there was something about the repeal graph I noticed where it was like okay I could dip the q-tip in here wet it up go like that pop 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 and then when I go with the dry part the dry part takes off ink so not all the ink comes off with the wet q-tip part you gotta hit you gotta come through with the dry part and do it so um had to do it all the way in like that clean that because all up in this area there's dried ink and I noticed that later on, you know, so like that, and then work my way back. I used a bunch of Q-tips and then later on came back and went like this to get the dried ink that was on there. That's a complete cleaning kit, complete uh, cleaning kit. The reason I went back and did it was because my my 0.5 was, was flowing. That was flowing good. My 0.35 was flowing too, but there was like, I don't know, I felt uneasy about it. Something told me, something uneasy like it had to do with the flow i don't know I, I felt funky about it um but it was fine it was working fine i got lines to prove it and everything i did a bunch of lines on, uh, on my schedule pretty nice you know it had a nice little flow the 0.35 and the 0.5 so it was flowing it wasn't like sputtering 
it went blip, 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 like it flows and then it stops and then it flows and it stops like it wasn't doing that but i don't know there was something funky about it so i retook it apart clean clean all the insides of here and dip dip that guy in there some uh something out of experience that i learned is the sm the smaller ones tend to tend to need extra cleaning like they retain a lot more ink on the inside so when you're when you're cleaning this like more you gotta spend just a little bit more time on these just to make sure um this guy this guy fell off this is this color one that's the band that goes on here it fell off my guy by mistake because i accidentally pulled it so i gotta glue that back on um these have I guess flow holes for the ink to flow and then it has a metal part that goes back and forth that you shake it to get ink in there you shake it too much and the ink will just start coming out of, out of everywhere I ran these I'm, I'm, I'm gonna show you the process with one of these when I pause this video um, oh the other mistake the other mistake I did was um using the tool these tools are very sensitive the the first repeater ease clean kit i bought i broke the the tool i didn't break it but i stripped it kind of like when this part right here this one side is completely round and the other side has two round and two straight parts that fit into the shape here that has two rounds and two straight parts i don't know if you can see it but um, if you have it in front of you and use it, but anyways, it fits right on there. It needs to sit completely even and flat all over. You can't have it to one side because then what it's gonna do is gonna eat up the corners that that create the grip on there, and it just it, the whole thing will be round, and then you just, you can't you can't use it anymore. I'm not saying that you can't come in real simple with, with like some small pliers and you know get it done but if you want to you know use the tool and keep saving it and save it just make sure it's it's flat when to 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 lock it to tighten it and to untighten it use it as a clip and then it comes off so that was three mistakes i used acetone on that I pulled off one of these, the tip, but put it back on. And I broke the first, I stripped the first tool. I couldn't use that. Um, growing pains, growing pains. When it comes to, I'm gonna show you when I do this, these guys right here. Um, when it came to like cleaning these, I also cleaned the threads and the same principle applied with like dip this and repeat all ease and I went like that. But the uh, the wet part of the cotton doesn't pick up everything. You have to pass by with the with the, with the dry one. It went like that and it finishes picking up. So I did a, a couple different versions of that. Then I did another one and some more Q-tips until that, that part was done. Same thing with this guy. Um, these right here, they tend to hold a lot of ink. See, this is a dirty one. See, I didn't even bother. See, I messed it up, so I didn't even clean. But you see the difference. Like that's some of it. Probably looks just pure dried ink. These be retaining a lot of ink around this section. I try to clean in there, and um, I try not to like overdo it because the cotton could get stuck in there, and then I just it'll stop the flow of the ink. It just it'll mess up your it'll mess up your pen. It'll mess up your pen. But these are the ones that are more time consuming to clean. Um the these component, right? Not this size, but this component. Cause it's just it's a lot of holes. It's like you running water and then you just trying to you go like that to you know like if you were writing on a paper or whatever, but it's like so you can get the ink to flow. Um the first time, 
the, what I did the first, just real quick before I show you here, so for the video don't um, be too long. I um after after I did kind of like the the most thorough thoroughest job that I could at the time, and I felt like these were clean the most. I ended up putting the Rapido E's in here, just the Rapido E's in here. So this was filled with Rapido E's, and then. I built it back up, you know, I put it, I put it back together and I had the Rapido E, I had this on here, I had this on here like this, all of them, I did that to all of them, to all of them, this was like, I wasn't, I didn't do it like in one day, you could do it in one day, but I didn't do it, so I had put the Rapido E's in here, went like this, because like there was, I didn't see no more ink coming out, no more blackness, right? So I was like, well, there's apparently there's dried ink in there somewhere. So with the Rapido Ease, just as it cleans, when you're cleaning it, have it flow, it should clean up the, it should start softening up the, the ink. That's what, that's what I was believing. And it, it worked. All right, so, and then I was, I, I wrote, I wrote for a while. I did a bunch of different tests my sketchbook just to get it flowing that's all this that's all this right now that's all this right here right so it's it's um it's not full black right because this is the Rapido Ease this is the ink that the Rapido Ease is picking up on the inside and then I, then I was working on like different designs or whatever. Just I was using all the different pens to to clear out, just to have the repeater is flow, flow. You know the different sizes. How the repeater is just flow through it and soften up the ink and clean it. here where it's lighter that's when I started I took I took apart the pens and then I just had this part right here so I would um, you know so I, I took them all back apart and I, had, I was running this through the water and then I would go like this and then that's what like some of the stuff that was left in there and it was just um, and then I'll go and then it will start flowing and then I'll go like that again and then I'll, I'll go again under the water like this and it'll, it'll go again like it took it took it took time to clean it. it took time to clean it see how these are all the spots like my hands have water and it kind of like dripped on me I'm gonna pause this video oops I'm gonna pause this video and show you sort of um, the technique I was doing with these pens here. So at least you can see that part. So I'm gonna do the best I can here to show you. How I clean them up. Yeah, these are, see these are the lines when they're flowing nice with the ink. I actually scanned these, took them into the computer, went into a, a digital drawing program, and I created a, a digital brush or a digital. I created a. You know, you got different ways to make. You can make technical pens, brushes. Anyways, you would create the thing and give it the behavior of like a brush or a pen or something. So. The way it, it goes along the paper with these little characteristics, I created like the same size on the on the on the on the digital program. So these I ended up having to put these inside a like a the whole cap itself, this whole thing once I closed it. 
I ended up having to put it inside a sandwich bag. This is a side note, side note right here. I had to put it inside a, a, a sandwich bag because the first one that I had, it dried out. Like, I don't know, it was like a little air exposed or whatever, so the whole thing dried out. So, anyways, I have the water. Not too hot, just nice and warm. And then, you know, the ink, because everything slows down. I gotta take them down. Just uh, kind of have it like where uh, in this natural behavior with the ink is on top and it's, everything works for it to flow as we're pointing it down right in. In this case, sometimes uh, you don't want to press too hard, just, just enough. So you see, I don't know if you can see the line. So the line, it still has ink in there. So you're doing it just flowing in the water, trying to get everything out of there. Just in case, you could always, let's say your, your left hand is a little dry, because your, your hand's going to get wet, right? You could also um, go like this. There's still ink inside. So, it's, the reason I say it takes longer is because that go like that and then no more ink is flowing. So you think it's clean. Then you go like this again and then the, the keep, black stuff keeps coming out. It dissolved ink keeps coming out, but the point is it keeps coming out. So you have to spend just a little time Let's spend time making sure it's clean. Making sure there's no more repeater in there, making sure there's no more water. So it's just this process right here. Repeat. Rinse and repeat. Rinse and repeat. Until you feel confident. So I'm not going to sit here and do, do all of them. So that's the process right there. So usually I do it underneath here because I'm right here. So I go, I go like this. Wow. So I'll stay here and just go like that until all of them are clean. Um, the green one, see the green one I thought it was clean. And it's, it's a fat one and it was, you know, it flows nice and nice. But then in one of those, like I, I think I, I just want to double check, make sure everything is done, and I went like I went like this, and it was sputtering. It was like yeah, I don't know if you can see it. It's like it's a line, and then it's dot 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 line dot 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 like Morse code. Like it's supposed to be continuous, continuous. So it has this one, the green one, is the one that had the most trouble at all, like. So that one I'm going to be working on. Um, when it came to the threads, I would do it while I'm here. So I would go something like this, dip it. And I'll go with the dry one. This one still has a little bit of ink. I don't know if you can see it. You know, and then... Since I use one side, I'll probably use the other side just to get more repeaters on there. Yeah, and then just spend my time doing that right there. That's how I did that. Um, I'm gonna clean these later. I'm clean, I don't feel like cleaning them right, right now. And I'll just show you the whole product. You already saw how I did it. That's that's basically it. That's basically it. What I did. Um, 
So the only ones that I'm gonna use is the 0.35 and the 0.5. So just kind of wrap up this video. Um, also to keep the repeater ease clean because it might it might get dirty. First, when I first did the cleaning, I didn't just throw everything in here because you're gonna uh, contaminate your well, contaminate your resource. Uh, you wanna keep this as clean as possible. So I took something like this and, uh, all right, I'm gonna let you guys down right there. I had these in here. This is how they first, this is how they first happened, right? I had them like that and I put the repeat these in here and then you could see it immediately ink started coming out and it started getting dirty. It started getting dirty. So if you immediately put it on here, this whole thing's gonna get dirty. Once they were like as clean as I could, then that's when I when I stuck it back in here. And then even then like it just gets a little bit a little bit dirty, but it's still like even with some ink in there it was still clean because the repeat ease is clean. Uh the ones that um I'm gonna end up using is the point, like I said, the point five and the point three five. The ones that are like most widely used or that people be using. So I'm like, I usually don't go that route. Like, oh, everybody's using this, everybody's doing that. But I mean, these pens have been around for a while, and it's just like people are not saying these are the best to use. I just, I just noticed the pattern um, in the different videos of the people drawing or, or people drawing with torpedo graphs. They're either using the 0.3 or the 0.5. Usually it's the 0.35. Right now I'm not gonna be doing so much technical work. I'm not really active, active using my repeater graphs. I'm gonna be using all different sizes to create all different textures and and illusions of um, um, stylizing the real life information in my with my drawing. Um, this guy's flowing nice. This, this guy's flowing nice right here. So, once this is done, I'll clean that, put it back together, and boom, boom, boom. And one last thing, when I was in Minneapolis, my teacher was saying that the kit, the ink that comes with the kit, usually is not the best. Um, so you gotta get a different kind of ink. Uh, yeah, I did use, uh, I think, Repeal Ease, something, something. And it was on the paper towel and it wiped, it wiped out the thing but it's like like i know what it looks like i just don't know how to call it i don't know i can't i can't put it in my mind right now so if i missed anything my apologies and i'm, perf I'm perfecting my videos as i go hopefully i spoke enough for uh, i won't get any copyright disputes off the music in the background it's just i think a little bit of sound in the background it's nice to to keep everything flowing straight. Um, thank you for watching.